Hello there. It's Art by Susan King. Um, today I'm going to do a balloon smash and I'm going to do a chain pull on top of it. So I'm going to do a chain pull over a balloon smash. So I'm going to first put the paint on my canvas. Or Actually it's not a canvas, it's a, they call it a cradle board. It's a board and I uh, primed it. Okay, so I am going to apply the background, well, not background, but the base coat, I guess it's called. I might fast forward this for you so you don't have to watch me do this. Okay, so I prepped the board and I'm going to just start, I got a balloon, it's not that big, I just wanted to make sure it fit in, the, fit in here so that I can dip it. So what I need to do is put this somewhere, I'm using um, purple, violet. Sky blue, light sky blue, uh, cadmium yellow deep hue, and white for the uh, balloon smash. And I'm using this is um, ultra blue deep, really nice blue, and a purple that I made up myself because I didn't have any purple, so well, I didn't have any deep purple that I wanted, so I uh, made my own. So, and I'm using ball chain. Just got it at the hardware store. Actually, it came in a roll. Um, where is it? at Rona. Rona was, is closing their stores. So I got this for like real cheap on a roll. It's quite a bit. Um, what was I going to say? Oops. Okay, I'm just going to start layering the paint in the little tray. Okay, put the tray down. I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just holding the balloon like this, and I'm just gonna dip in like that. And I'm gonna just start applying it.
Okay, I'm going to add more paint and wipe my balloon off. It's kind of slippery on the on the board. find it easier if I grab the whole thing instead of holding it by the little end. It doesn't slip then. Looks so cool on the balloon. I think that's enough paint on the canvas. Okay, I'm ready to go here with the chain. Uh, I think I'm going to do the darker color, the color I made up first. Do a couple of those and then I'm going to do this blue here. So um, at the end of this video I will be showing you a dried results, I hope. So. I measured the chain. It's about twice twice the length of this uh, board because I want very large flowers on here. So if you enjoy this video, um, you can you can hit the like button and hit the bell for notifications if you want to be notified when I post a new uh, video. And if you want, subscribe. So I'm just dipping it in the paint, the chain. Um, actually, most, most of it, except for just a little bit at the end so I can hold it. And then I'm going to pull it out. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Probably can't. See, yeah, you can see it. So what I do when I pull it out is I just run my finger like this along the chain, just so that there's not too much paint on the chain, because if there is, it will drip all over the canvas. This chain, any chain really, holds a lot of paint. So. Be careful if you're doing it. All right, so I'll start here. Normally I put silicone, not silicone, but um, dimethicone in my paints to get cells, but I didn't want to do it with this one. But I'm using a lot of leftover paints, so I'm going to get cells because that's what was in the paint. So I don't think I'll get very many, but I will get cells. So now I think I'm going to end up dripping on the floor if I don't, if I'm not careful here. Sheesh. So 
So I just let it sit for a minute and then I just pull. And then I have a little um, a little can over here of water. I'm just going to dump it in there so it doesn't the paint doesn't dry on the chain. And I use a fresh chain each time because I have lots of it. So it sticks. Number two. Oops. Liking that. Love that color. Okay, I was debating what to do, whether to leave it or add more. I don't I know I'm not going to use this color now. I'm just going to leave that color. I was just thinking of putting a couple of other little little like stems here just to sort of fill in that empty space. So not going to use much. Just a little bit. I do believe that looks a little better, but 
this one. It's too thick. It's too much paint on that one. I just wanted to get some off. So I'm just d using no paint on it. Gonna go over it. There, that's better. That's better. So I'm just gonna do maybe a little tiny one here, a little tiny one there, and that'll be it. That'll be it. Okay. Just gonna reuse this one again. You can see the bottom there. Let's just pull it up a bit. There. I just added a couple of tiny ones at the bottom, and I think that finishes it off. That's it. That's it. I love it. Okay. let it dry and show you at the end. All right, see you. I can't walk away. I have to do something else to it. I have to do something like this up here, 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 and here. Just little things like that. Maybe even smaller than that. I might be wrecking it, but I gotta find out. That's what it needs. One more little one. Just one more little one. That's it. Walk away. Walk away. I love it. All right, see you when it's dry. Hi right there, I'm back and my painting is dry. I really, really like this color. I will zoom in for a close up.
really happy with it. I'm glad I added these little, little ones. It really filled up the, um, the space. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.